Good day, YouTube. Today I'm doing just a bit of a quick fun comparison video between Fedora 36 on the left hand side and MX Linux 21 on the right hand side. Okay, so both of these are actually running on the KDE Plasma desktop environment as you may be able to plainly see. So we'll actually load a few things up. Now they are slightly different customized version of the, of the Plasma desktop environment here. We can see uh, Fedora actually employs the, the latest version of it because it loves to use cutting edge stuff there. In fact, I'm enjoying the nice dark mode here for, for both of these guys. You can see we've got a what might be considered a bit of a slimmed down version of the start menu for uh, the, uh, the MX Linux 21 we can see here. So the main thing here is that we can run a search, we can type in some words and find the program that we're looking for. So that keeps me really just happy enough. Um, now let's uh, maybe have a look at the context menus, pretty much of a muchness. I do like the colorized uh, icon sets, it's just easier to read and understand what's going on there. Uh, if we go across to the, the file managers, we'll see what's going on. Wow, it's really quite small. They're, they've really shrunk down the, the, the look and feel for MX Linux there. But uh, of course Dolphin is the de facto standard for any KDE Plasma desktop environment there. Uh, slightly different icon sets and color schemes, just a smidge there. Again, uh, they're really trying to shrink down things, but otherwise pretty much the same here for these two guys. Uh, nothing to really write home about. Hey, I just like to right click and, um, and open terminal and that makes me happy there. You can do that with both. Uh, if we jump into the, the back end, just a smidge there, we'll see what's going on here as well. So what have we got? So the, okay, this is where uh, some of the, where it gets separated a bit. So we are running the 5.17 kernel, latest and greatest kernel, really available at the moment for Fedora because it is the, the bleeding edge version of Linux. Whereas MX Linux uh, is uh, running the, the 5.10 kernel. So it's actually based on Debian. So it's a more stable branch of, uh, of Linux. Hey, you still get all your security updates, but um, it is just a little bit older and more stable. It probably doesn't support the latest and greatest hardware though so just something to bear in mind uh, the desktop environment is a little bit older there as well the 5.20 version for MX Linux as opposed to uh, the Fedora's 5.24 and last but not least, let's have a look at the CPU and RAM usage. Always take these results with a bit of a grain of salt, but um, we have, uh, let's see, so mostly idling out for the CPU, nice enough there. Now, Fedora's running at about 1.2 gigabytes of RAM on boot up, not fantastic. And MX Linux is running at 570 megabytes of RAM on boot up, so less than half the RAM on boot up. So we are using the same basic front end so it's a bit of a shame that uh, it's not optimized I mean it is a little bit newer in terms of the kernels and the version of the desktop environment there but um, I'm a little battery running out but I am a little bit upset that we're running at almost two to three times the the amount of RAM on boot up because I have seen this one spiked actually 1.6 gigabytes of RAM which is it's just not ideal but that's a bit about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one.